Hello, my name is Elizabeth Fear, and this summer I conducted data science research in Dr. Michael Brown's lab at the University of Arizona, focusing on the effects of hydration on rhodopsin activation. Rhodopsin is a prominent member of the G-protein-coupled receptor protein class, which is targeted by nearly one-third of all pharmaceuticals. It is hypothesized that hydration plays a crucial role in driving rhodopsin activation. Rhodopsin has two conformations that exist in physiological equilibrium, active and inactive. Measuring the presence of these conformations when exposed to varying levels of osmotic stress determines the influence of water. The fraction of active state rhodopsin is quantified via UV visible absorbance spectra before and after light exposure in the presence of various osmolites, which reveals the equilibrium constant. Small osmolites favor the active state because they have a natural log of the equilibrium constant that is greater than zero. However, large osmolites favor the inactive state because they have a natural log of the equilibrium constant that is less than zero. Small osmolites decrease osmotic pressure and dehydration via binding to rhodopsin. However, large osmolites cannot decrease dehydration because they are too large to fit in the binding cleft. So we see a correlation with dehydration and inactivation. We utilized visual molecular dynamic simulations to equilibrate the dark rhodopsin system, further alluding to water's role in rhodopsin activation as water molecules gathered on either side of this protein. Our final conclusion is that water does play a significant role in rhodopsin activation. Since rhodopsin is such a prime example of G-protein coupled receptor function, this research is applicable to one of the largest protein classes, enabling possible treatments of physiological dysfunction across human anatomy. Thank you.